What's up fam, it's your boy Demir here, purveyor of all sounds underground. Thank you for joining me on my YouTube channel today where I'll be discussing my first thoughts on Oak Sound Soothe 2 plugin. You probably have heard a lot about it. My cousin introduced me to this plugin uh, some time ago last year, around November. I demoed it, forgot I demoed it, and then Junior Son just reminded me about the plugin and how great it's been for him. And I was like, damn, I, I gotta get on this thing and purchase it because that was just one of the places that sort of held me up. Is, is it worth the amount of money they're asking for? We're talking about a plugin that is well over 200 uh, US. And my conclusion is it definitely is. But before we jump into the details of this one, what I need from you is that SLC. Hit subscribe, like, and comment, and more importantly, hit the notifications bell to stay in touch with the new videos that we have up and coming. All right, so Soothe 2 first thoughts. Before I jump into what this means to me, Soothe 2 version 1.1.2, uh, I want to show you this, FabFilter Pro MB multiband. And I use this generally on my master chain to clear up any, you know, uh, mid-low frequency or muddiness that I would often um, come across in mixes. It, it just can't be helped. It's really the sum of all things that's going on in your mix down, and it's really to what extent um, can you clean it up at the master chain level before you send it off for mastering. So. I also use this plugin to add some more punchiness uh, in the final mix. So it's a great plugin, and I wasn't necessarily looking to replace it, um, but something like Soothe 2 here adds a lot of value. Like, it, it will help demud certain bass frequencies um, before it even gets to that master chain level, or you can use it on your master chain, it's completely up to you. It's also great for vocals from what I'm hearing, but my first impressions today, and that's why I got these trusty headphones, is because we're really gonna get into some of the parameters here and how it's affecting uh, super low bass frequencies like a filtered bass, because I just did a video on my filtered bass techniques, and I gotta say, uh, I'm gonna be using this quite a bit after hearing some of the advantages you get with it man it really clears things up so why don't we um, jump into a few things before I get uh, into the actual audio part of the video I just want to show you around the plugin itself so right off the bat uh, visually this is a great looking plugin and I think it's part of what makes you know the whole uh, value proposition of the dollars you'll be spending I know my phone is going off here, so let's just shut that right off. And it's Junior. <laughs> um, so what I love about this is as you scroll across here, you immediately see the frequency you're affecting. So it's really solid stuff. I love this part of it because you know exactly where you're working, uh, what is being affected. And it's so smooth too. I, I just love the visuals of it. Uh, let's give it a look here. I got a preset called Demudding the Bass and I'm soloing out my filter bass, but I just want to show you what it does visually. So you could see all of this here. Like it's just nice. You can immediately hone in on, okay, that's what it's affecting. That's what's happening. And it just, looks smooth and brilliant and, and the colors are just nice and balanced and not too harsh on the screen uh, let's talk about soft and hard mode now these really uh, speak to at least my understanding is the amount of impact the um, algorithm will have so I'll, I could show you the differences right off the bat here so I'd say soft is uh, less 
aggressive, a bit more transparent, and you'll see here as I turn the depth knob up. So you can see it's still doing its thing, but it's not as aggressive in terms of the area that it's honing in on. Now, when I do the same under the hard mode, you can see it's much more aggressive. It's like really going in, taking it down a few dBs here. Um, whereas in soft mode, it's still doing its thing, but it's a bit more smoother musical. You know, their official definition is the soft mode is more transparent uh, and easier to adjust when it comes to uh, the algorithm and it's suited for more dynamic material. Di by dynamic, uh, when I hear dynamic material, I'm thinking like vocals, uh, drums that have a lot of up and down peaks, things that aren't necessarily as predictable. Whereas with hard, um, it's a bit more adjustable, but it pushes things much harder. It reacts much harder uh, and more aggressively is the word I use to the signal or the material passing through the plugin. So I think most of the time you'll probably find yourself in the soft mode, uh, especially when leveraging bass. This is actually a preset here, but there's a whack of presets uh, like bass, acoustic guitar. These are actual folders. Um, I did mess with the vocals and I might do this in another video, but there's just tons and tons of presets here as a great starting point to work with from a mix channel and a bus level perspective. So really good. But let's stick to the demudding of the bass here. Um, so let's continue. So that's the depth. Sharpness, it, almost need to view this as, I'm gonna hover over this just so you can see the definition, but you can view this basically as you would like the Q and um, you know, in a traditional EQ. So the higher it is, the more narrow or more surgical you're getting when it comes to the specific frequency you're looking to affect. Um, so as you go higher, it's gonna narrow in on things. As you go uh, lower, it's a bit of a broader band affecting the frequencies around the frequencies that you're targeting. Selective or selectivity talks to uh, or focuses on the processing of the narrower peaks. So within a peak of, you know, that narrowed cue, it's focusing on a process right there. So, I mean, again, you'll adjust up and down, listen to the differences. Uh, for the purpose of this demudding of the bass, I heard an immediate difference on this filtered bass and I'm almost jealous, I wish I used this before I printed the pre-master here, but I didn't have the plugin uh, when I did this remix, or I didn't have it activated rather when I did this remix, but nonetheless, it'll be in the mix much more. Which brings me to, why don't we just give this a listen? So in my last video, I'm gonna put my trusty headphones on so I can hear too with you. Um, in my last video, I showed that, yeah, I use the SPL on this filtered bass. So you can listen to this and it sounds all right, but when you apply this, let's say demud this signal, <sighs> this is crazy. This blows my mind. So this is with it off. Wow. It, this, this, this is crazy. And I got it on a hard setting, but let's go to soft. So this is soothe to off. And now it's on. So with the demudding of that frequency, it actually sounds even louder. That's that's why I'm freaking out here, because you can hear that it's just taking all of the um, things that you don't need happening in the signal and that's actually taking away from the energy of the signal and just putting more focus onto the things that you need to hear and ultimately giving it the uh, perception that it's louder when really all that you've done is holding it in on the right places and just uh, cleared uh, unwanted frequencies out. Which leads me to this piece and it's probably the, the, the thing that 
I love the most about this plugin is the delta function. Um, I'm going to solo, yeah, it's already soloed out. You might not really hear much of that, but like if you're using a vocal or something and there's an annoying signal in there that you want to remove, not only can you see it, but you, you can hear what's going on at the same time. I think this is huge to show me what is being impacted um, as I'm doing the process is phenomenal to me. So now we're listening and, it, and it's just showing to me, hey, this is this is what we're cutting out when you have this setting or, you know, what we have going on with this particular band on band one. Uh, I think it's I think it's great to have their official definition here is monitor the difference between wet and dry um, signals and what has changed when the Delta uh, uh, has been enabled um, I just see that as hey it's just telling me the inverse of what it's actually doing and I think that's really great that they provide that um, let's move along right here um, this link piece is uh, another thing I want to talk to. I'll hover over it, but the long and short of it is, is the higher this link number is, um, it's going to do its detection of resonance in the signal um, as a sum of both the left and right channel. The more narrow it is, it will do it more independently between uh, the channels. And this is a good function to have, depending on what you're sampling or what sort of audio signal you're working with. You can indeed have certain things going on in the signal um, on each channel independently of one another. And the fact that you have flexibility to say you want to recognize that from a resonance detection perspective um, is phenomenal in, in my opinion. It just allows for more flexibility and <laughs> It allows for less excuse for being able to clean up certain signals and have better mixes. This shit is exciting to me. Um, this one's pretty straightforward. Um, the balance between um, either channel here. And I'm going to hover over that. No, yeah, so pretty straightforward. And then it just shows you the, the delta uh, between it, whether it's even or there's a slight difference. Uh, between each channel and how much process is, is being applied to each one. Uh, attack and release, very much uh, like a compressor. Uh, it's basically telling you um, how quickly the process is, is attacking the signal and then from a release perspective, how fast or how slow uh, the process is, you know, letting go of doing its thing on that particular signal. And then you have your typical uh, wet dry mix here. So 100 is an indicator that, you know, whatever is being processed or parameters here as part of the process is affecting the signal as 100% wet and zero is dry. Trim, I think this is great too because this is basically gain staging. Um, so I would apply this uh, when I'm looking at the signal and I'm saying, okay, um, show me what it's doing. And I might boost this, you know, depending on the signal itself, just to gain, you know, gain match what's happening. Uh, and then I get a nice, accurate, a B on it you know I think uh, it's great that they did this um, because you'll make better mixing decisions as a result um, and I think I mentioned this before but uh, it gives you similar to uh, fab filter uh, it gives you uh, you know each comprehensive view of each band and you can actually solo in and listen in on what's happening within that band. I don't know if we're going to hear much here because it's bass. Actually, let's try this out. I'm going to leave filter bass on, copy it over to main loop. 
and let's open up an instance with the main loop. So this is the main loop. So I think we can... So that's the solo of band one. So it's very low because of the frequencies we're dealing with here. And I think at this point in the song, the, it's quite low, but let's just continue this low cut here. Crazy band two. I'm exaggerating this so we can hear it. If you got your headphones on, it's very faint, but nonetheless, demonstrates the point that you can hone in on each band and isolate them and listen to it just to see what this plugin is doing exactly. I love this thing. Uh, the demudding is is uh, is crazy, and the little things I did on the vocals when I was testing this out before, just independently, uh, in late last year, it's just been really great stuff. So I highly recommend this plugin. I'm kicking myself for waiting for so long to pull the trigger and purchase this one. My cousin and I were like, "Damn, it's you know." It's, it's almost three bills Canadian, but you know, it's worth every dollar, especially when it comes to the demudding of your mixes. And uh, I'm definitely going to be expecting a bit more for myself uh, when it comes to being able to achieve that. After I heard what it's done on filtered basis, it's uh, phenomenal. So comes highly recommended from me. Go pick it up. Sooth to no doubt. I, I think uh, if you're producing sample heavy music or working with a lot of vocals, this plugin is definitely for you. Much love and respect to you. Peace.